after them strippies. We gonna get them. We gonna wreck them. Amen. Oh my God, I'm getting excited. Uh, we gonna wreck them. Look here. Woo, that, that oh may be God. a keeper. Look at this boy right here. Oh, Catch on money, that's a banana shrimp. He's eight inches. Woo, that's an eight inch banana shrimp. We catching banana shrimp today, guys. Oh, we gonna be eating good in our neighborhood, right? But guess what? We don't eat the big shrimp. We get rid of those guys. Me and Steph eat the baby shrimp. There's a lot to learn about the creatures of the sea on this boat. You guys didn't realize you was going to be trolling with a YouTube biologist, did you? Right, Steph? The bullhead squid. Welcome to Salty Reflections. Today we have some great friends of ours. Miss Nancy. Hi. And Mr. Mike. We're going to wreck them. We're about to wreck some shrimp out here. We're going to wreck them. Woohoo! This is the first time that Miss Nancy and Mr. Mike has ever been shrimp trawling. We're hoping for a really good day with them. We're just hoping and praying that everything goes good on the boat today and we have a big catch. We try the best we can. We don't really have all this kind of fancy equipment. This is not Hollywood. Way better than Hollywood. Hey. Hollywood doesn't look anything like this. that have truly been following along on our videos, the shrimping videos in particular, you've seen that we've been having issues with this boat for a year. Well, the last video we shared with you guys, we was having trouble with the motor. Went back home, swapped out the fuel pump on the motor. We've actually been pulling three times since then. Some things just don't make it to YouTube, guys. It just is what it is. We can't show you guys all the shrimp we're catching. I don't want all of y'all getting too jealous out there. The boat's running good, and we are just thankful. Amen. It's going to be a beautiful day. The tide is on its way out, and we're supposed to get down to about five to seven knots of wind coming out of the east. And the egg banks, uh, that's the sandbars that's out here in the St. Helena Sound they'll start breaking some of the waves that's coming in from offshore and i'm hoping for some slick waters to trawl with you guys so we're about to check the bag for the first time all of it we got the tail bag buoy pulled in. Oliver's using the winch to pull it in. So we've got the turtle excluder coming towards us. And that is this big grate you see. And the way the turtle excluder works is as the net comes up, there's a big open area here and I see some shrimpies in it. Yay! Those are trying to get away. So you see this big open area here. If something big like a turtle or a big shark or stingray was to get in it, it would hit these grates, not be able to pass through to our tail bag and slip right out of this big opening right here. So it could be released. So that way the turtle still gets to continue to live their sea turtle wonderful life. All right. And I do see some shrimpies. I don't know if y'all can see them through this net with me. I'm gonna try to shake these down. Get that big boy back in there. I don't want to miss out on a one if we can help it. So this is the tail bag portion. Oliver's going to come over here and start pulling it in. Man, I sure hope we got a big cat. I seen some shrimpies, so I see, I see a couple of ones. In there. Oh my God, I'm getting excited. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> I see a flounder. Shake them down right there. I see a bunch right here by your hand. Oh, where are they at? Right there. Don't want to leave nothing in no. the bed. We need every shrimp that we can get. Yeah, buddies. We got a lot of friends that want to eat some shrimp. And so. we are thankful for those friends that are helping us out by buying these shrimp and helping support us so we can come out here to two ghost shrimp because you know, sometimes in a day we can catch more shrimp than we can eat in a year, guys. So, you know, if you're going to do this type of stuff, you need some support, support from others too, right? That's right. And to pull and, a trawl net like this, you do have to have a commercial license, which is what this sticker right here means, is that you do have a commercial license in South Carolina. 
and that is the only way to pull a trawl net like this in South Carolina. Even if you only do it recreationally for fun and to get shrimp for yourself and stuff like that, you do have to have that um, commercial tell, we license. Got, we got at least 75 pounds of shrimp in there. Woohoo! Yeah. Woohoo! And back to the licenses, once you get that commercial license, um, that is just to pull the net. If you want to sell your catch, which is what we do, like we said, we like to come shrimping. So if we come shrimping and have a good day, we can catch more than what we can eat in a year. So we do buy the, the wholesale dealer license, so that way we can actually sell our catch as well. <laughs> Woohoo! Not a real big pull, but that is some beautiful shrimp in here, guys. Yeah, buddy. I do see a stingray right there, so be careful with his little tail. No, that's a skate, actually. Two, we want two of them. Shrimp. We're trying to cut out all our small shrimp and it's supply good, good, fresh, nice shrimp to our customers. And we never put any preservative or additives on our shrimp. We try to keep plenty of ice on the boat. Every cooler you see here has ice in it. I just handed Miss Nancy a little sole. It's a there's lots of different types of soles the sole like the sole of your shoe or the sole of your foot s-o-l-e sole and that is like a part of the flounder or fluke family you see they both they do have both eyes on the top of their head no eyes on the bottom so Ooh, look at the size of some of these shrimp and you can just put him back miss nancy because he is alive we'll let him keep on living because we're not going to eat him lots Ooh, of those that's the ones we after right there oh God. Them big hot dog shrimp. Woohoo! We want them hot dog uh, shrimp. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Oh my God. Woohoo! Isn't that fun? So not the best pool up in the world, but you know, hey, we can't complain. That's right. We got some live sand dollars. Some little hog chokers. Another species of the fluke flounder family. And these hog chokers don't get very big. Just a few inches. Be careful with that stingray, Mr. Mike. A true fluke, a little flounder here. Yeah. Little angelfish. Right. A butterfish. Y'all better swim because the birds are coming. Look at this little shark eye. He's got his little hermit out of it. A little hermit crab. Hey, Mr. Hermit. There's the shark eye shell. Land bait. A little cockle. Just the shell. All right, and we're going to release this and get set back up. And we'll be back with you guys on the next pull. What dolphin's that? I haven't seen no dolphin jump by the boat on this pull. Not this I know one. they lingering around. We seen them as we was calling. They were right over the top of the net, following this trawl boat's feet. Yep, Miss Nancy got and some pretty footage of them. Look at all birds coming our way. Aww. It's so beautiful, the wildlife we get to see out here. And it's looking like it's starting to calm down, just like we was talking about. Right, the water's starting to get a little calm. Yep. Looking nice out here. The skies are starting to turn blue. Look at the skies of that. Look back up to the net and we're back trawling, guys. Everything was a success getting back hooked up. Now they got and hot. Miss Nancy and yeah. Mike, they're uh, not. We got a record. They ain't <laughs> playing. Yeah. These, these guys here ain't playing around. They jumped right in on this same one. They sort this stuff out. Look at that pretty farewell. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Beautiful shrimp. Nice. And if you see a shrimp like this right here, it's an old shrimp that may have been in the net or something like that. We just throw that stuff right back out. One thing with this cold table right here, guys, is we popping the heads. We're raking stuff off the back. Got this little uh, dump. I call it a dump. It's a platform that we use to get out on and pull the net in, and we can just dump that stuff right off the back. That may be a keeper. I think it'll be close. Check out this little spotted crab. So this, this is a flounder, a needs, southern flounder. Needs to be 16 inches. And we are after mostly white shrimp. 
every now and then you may see one of these guys right here in our catch and this is a cotton shrimp and let me show you why they call it a cotton shrimp and i'm gonna show you how we de-head a shrimp real quick so right here coming off his head to his body you just grab this thing and pinch it and it de-heads real easily and look at the white meat of this shrimp see how white it is in color compared to the white shrimp so that's why they call it a cotton shrimp guys and that flounder is going to be a keeper over 16 inches oh we gonna be eating good in our neighborhood right yeah look at this baby look at this boy right here that's all money that's a banana shrimp we catch a banana shrimp today guys <laughs> Wow, that is a big one. I, I was just wondering, that probably, I would say 10 or 12 of those guys right there would make a pound. Get a measurement on that shrimp. We're going to get a measurement on that one and share it with you guys. He's 8 inches. Woo, that's an 8 inch banana shrimp. Guess what? We don't eat the big shrimp. We get rid of those guys. Me and Steph eat the baby shrimp, guys. Well, I brought the, you know, I got, I'm dedicated in supplying the shrimp to the people that's wanting them. I need more shrimp than I need money right now because I want to keep the customers happy. Here you go, Steph. Grab that there. Oh, another big one.
We're about to get them. We're about to get them again. Yep. We've been eating donuts and sandwiches in the meantime, so now we're going to get a little bit sleepy. About to weather away. We got these on donuts. We got a few left. And some good ham and pepperoni sandwiches. Yeah, and salami. Sam's got this bug the whole inside we of got, it. We got it loaded today. Just packed with all types of stuff. You got to be prepared, right? We got to have enough food to sustain us. We do not want to weather away. We'll jerk it up again. If we don't get more in this pool right here, we're going to have to. Look for another spot. Let's do it. Good job, Mike. Yeah, see how Mike did his stuff? You need to take some blood. Oh, yeah. You put it through that block. He's a pro. And then he's going to pull it around to this block over here so they can use the winch. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah, why don't you tell uh, the viewers about what happened the other day when you grabbed the bullet? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> There's a ball right here of stuff. And we really hadn't been seeing much stuff jump behind the boat, shrimp, nothing. And, but you can see, look out here, guys. It has laid down this flat calm out here. Maybe that's why we ain't seen many shrimp jump. Mr. Paul said the other day, it seems like the times you catch the shrimp the best is when the water's so rough that it's throwing you all around the boat. Definitely not a real big pool coming up. It is what it is. We are grateful for whatever bounty the Lord wants to give us today and we'll take it. As long as we get back safely and we all have fun, that's the most important part. I do see some shrimpies, so at least we caught oh, some yeah. shrimp. We've had pools that haven't been anywhere near this good, so. Luckily they've been big shrimp. Hey, that looks good to me. We, we had, yeah. We had very few little shrimp and this time, I think we did cut our trawl down about 20 minutes. We trawled our 20 minutes shorter than the first pool with you guys. And these little soles are so slippery. They don't want to, trying to get them out of the net. See a stick in there, piece of driftwood. out there with him. Let's see if we can grab this big shrimp before he gets away. We don't want that big hot dog shrimp to get oh, away. Wow, we sure don't. Little mantis shrimp. Manhaden. Some great crab bait. Oh, here's a spider here's crab. Spot the pliers. I don't know what's that. Steph, what would you do with the other pliers? Uh, they're over there. They were on that cooler sitting there. You got to keep at least three sets of pliers in this boat. Yep, little spider crab. What else is in here that we see? Another little mantis. Oh, there's another stingray. You got a stick. And the flounder, yep. Mr. Mike got him a stick. A little That's piece a of tamper bass. <laughs> Can that be my prize? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that little flounder in this pretty spot. Beautiful. Flap away. Wait a minute, what's that right there? Another stick. Another That's an ancient dinosaur bone, ain't it? Maybe. No, this is just a piece of driftwood. I saw a little hermit crab walking right there. Look at this little pretty whelk with a hermit crab down in it. You see his leg sticking out. A couple of manhaden, they're still alive. Let them get back to swimming. Alright, we'll get set Mr. back Mike, out. Can you release that right there, please? Another live sand dollar. We'll put him back. And some sea whip. 
all the, the soft coral, all the colors gone off of it. <laughs> a big mantis. Oh, the best eyesight in the world right there looking at you. You can see his mantis arms hanging out there. Alrighty, let's get set back up. Oh, there's a, a oh, goby. Wow. Look how iridescent oh, he is. Wow. And even inside his mouth, look oh, at there. My God. So it's, it's like a, um, an attractant to their prey. They sit down in those little holes down on the ocean floor. Look at their pretty tail and their fins. Like a mermaid. Let me put you back so these birds don't get you. Put you back close to the boat. Well, little buddy. Oh Whitey. Little angelfish. Yes, little cannonball jelly. So these kind of jellyfish cannot sting you. They they Probably. can't, you know, they, their stingers are not big enough for the humans. Whereas this kind of jelly, and this right here jelly will actually sting you if you touch it barehanded. Okay. Let's go over jelly to the bod. honey hole. Y'all wanna hit the honey hole? Yeah. This looks like a piece of a Ziploc <laughs> bag. We better hit the honey hole because this one, even though we got a good bit here, I don't know if it would even feed the neighborhood. Look at it. That right there will feed me. I know that's right. Especially if I had six of these. Look at that. Oh, the Look at this here, guys. Dang, Man. Beautiful. Wow. That's what if they we're were all this about. size, wow. Look at the blues and the greens in that tail. That's gorgeous right there. That's another gorgeous. seven and a half inch right yeah. there. Yep. And that thing, I don't know how it's looking on the camera to you guys, but in comparison and diameter, this thing is almost as big around as a quarter. Little, way bigger than my thumb little 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 smaller than a quarter size diameter that that one there about the same little crab so you know man Let's i just get wish, at it. i just wish there was a lot more we'll, we'll, we'll take it we're gonna we're gonna hit a big this pool so this right here is the how to see how they are suctioned together like that's the hog tuckers like you got in your hand. They suction to you and will stick that way. <laughs> stick to each other. They are slippery trying to get out of here. And it has been confirmed through the comments and the videos of everybody that's uh, chipping in to help us out with things. This is the hog choker. Definitely. <laughs> this is the fluke. And this is one of my here. The blue crabs. Uh, we got to get hooked up. Y'all, y'all call for me to waste time. So, for any of you guys that's out here on Harbor Island, you come around and you fish this point out here, right off of that point there, you can see we're only 50 to 75 yards from the beach, and we're still in 31 foot of water. So, there's a lot of good fishing right through here, sharks and stuff. Anybody that's interested in that type of stuff thing rays a lot of that types of stuff can be caught here you know almost any given time and we are in 25 foot now we're coming up the hill and thankfully thankfully guys the net didn't spin on me it is such a battle with this setup on this boat to tangle this net and pull these doors up and stuff and try to untangle this net. And I'm trying my best to stay cautious today and show our guests a good time out here. It's already a battle to pull up this tall net and doors at the end of the day. We're in 15 now. The net's pulling uphill pretty good. I hope we wreck them over here. We have been in a fouled up mess, but we're about to check it and see what we got. Woo! Something ain't easy. It is not easy. Is it easy, it Mike? Ain't, it ain't Fun. easy. It's so much it fun. Is. Ooh, it's good to have help. Especially good help. Mr. Mike is a good helper, too. <laughs> Miss Nancy ever told you how good you were, Mike? Every now and then. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
all the well, time. You don't ever tell me that stuff. <laughs> I got the best one God could have ever given me, I promise. <laughs> me too. They got the bag up. We got a little something even though we was tangled up. We was in a mess. We had to bump and grind to get everything untangled. Yeah. You bump across the bottom and you grind until you figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Crimping ain't easy. I see that sweat about to drip off your nose. I'm surprised Mr. Mike ain't got it too because these fellas have worked about to hard. I see no uh, sweat dripping off my nose. I won't tell her to see these tricks. Yeah, that little hog choker was stuck in the net. Little small pool. Little small pool. I guarantee you one thing, if y'all stick with us just a little bit longer, we're gonna show you a few more shrimp at least. I hope so. We could be like this guy right down here right now. This guy ah, here, stop he, picking he me. was trolling behind us guys. I'm trying to talk to y'all right here. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hello. But this guy right down here, he was following behind us and I know there's a snag right out here and I'm hoping these guys ain't snagged up. They're all but washed up on the beach there. We watched the door flip right after ours, so I hope they don't get washed up as they're trying to get their stuff untangled and what got me distracted was this little fella had been up while ago and he was poking those spikes right there into my finger so he had me a little distracted it's been crazy for the last few <laughs> oliver said let him know if y'all want to come back tomorrow anytime you like our help <laughs> work harder work work faster
today and we are pulling this tail back in for our last time and we're gonna see what in the world we got in here Dang. hopefully some shrimpies that could be better than earlier ain't it uh yeah a yeah a little bit more. more there's a stingray right there so just be careful of that stingray barb the birds think we got more You guys make sure you leave Miss Nancy and Mike a uh, comment. Tell them how hard they work. <laughs> they have. They, these are hard working fellas too. We knew that already before today, but we have definitely learned that again today. It has been our pleasure. Our pleasure. It's we been our pleasure to have it. you too. The most important thing of uh, any trip that we come out here, guys, uh, even if we catch anything or not, is about just return home safely. That is the most important, right? Oh, yeah. Shrimpy, shrimpy. Good, good, good. Oh, look at the little puffer fish. He's trying to swim. Oh, wow. Go ahead, little fella. Don't be bending over like that in front of me. I was trying to let this little puffer go. <laughs> He's all puffed up and mad right now. He'll deflate that big female crab. And you can see that she's a female by those red claws. She's got painted red. And she's a big mature female. You see that rounded apron. Let's watch her do the crab walk. Go ahead, girl. Go back in the water. There you go. And let's get hooked back up and do it again. 